Race 2 is the Chest of Ours, a Group 3 event over a mile and a half for three year old Colts, and it's a trial for next week's derby. Let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got Dreams of Treasure at the top for Craig Beckwith, Hellfire Pistol for David Robertson, plus its unbeaten record on the line, Hits Player Adam Old, Home of the Brave Paul Rhodes, Lufing Privacy, Vinnie Gerard, Night King Dan Hughes of the Night Currency, David Robertson, See What You Want for Munas, The Major for David Hooley. Trapango Commodity, Darren Thompson took it in your sock claws for Jimmy Harrison and War Prayers for Leon Van Rensburg. A field of 12. They're all installed and ready to go. And away they go. And here's going to be the first one to show. Looks like Vinnie Gerard's Lou Feng Privacy is going to try and get across to the fence and get into the lead. It's quite important to get on the inside, of course, here at Chester Moor. Derby Trials at the York tomorrow. I forgot where we're going there for a second. But it's War Prayers in the lead from the Major and then Hits Plough. I'm not sure whether we have the uh, Lingfield Derby Trials or not. If we do have them, they'll be at some point this week. Anyway, War Prayers is in the lead. Hits Plough is second. The Major is third. And then of the night currency, Trapango Commodities after that one. It's quite a big field for this, to be honest. I expected to see a field this size. For this race, but War Prayers is bowling along in the lead. We've still got the best part of a complete circuit to go. They're inside the final mile, and War Prayers for Leon Van Rensburg is the leader. Hits Player is second, Hellfire Pistol is third, then Trapanga Commodity and Of the Night Currency. Home of the Brave is also trying to get a bit closer to Grey's Wild on the track. Oh, I'll see what you want, and Night King. See what you want might just be the back marker at this point. They're past the six furlong pole, and a war prayers has got the lead by two to Trapango Commodity in second. Then in third place is of the night currency. Then home of the brave Night King is after that one. Lufong Privacy on the rail is gonna need a little bit of a little bit of look in running out. I mean, lost its place. The one that's tracking that one took it in your sock claws is gonna need an absolute miracle to get through. But it's war prayers who's in front from Of The Night Currency in second. Then comes Trapango Commodity in third. The one around the outside is going well is Night King. That looks to be a big danger at the moment. Hits player is still trying to get into it as well. So to home with a brave, but it's this war prayers who's still clearing the lead by two to three lengths with two and a half furlongs to go. It's War Prayers who's got the lead. Lu Feng Brivacy's now come through in a second. Night King is third. Here comes of the Night Currency coming through with a run. Trapango Commodity needs racing room on the inside, but it's still War Prayers who's clear. War Prayers is clear of Lu Feng Privacy in second. Night King making hard work of it in third as they pass the furlong pole. It's War Prayers who's hanging on now. Lu Feng Privacy is his go. Night King is trying to wear down a little bit. It's Lu Feng Privacy who's racing away. Up towards the line. This one will stay at Epsom. Up towards the line. Lu Feng Privacy takes it from the fast. Finishing on the night currency, then Trapango Commodity and home with a brave. After that one, we'll see what you want dropped out. But it's that man Vinnie Gerard again. He might have had a slot with quads a week last week, I think. But he did the first two weeks, but he's back to week four, taking a group three race and putting himself right up there in the Short price fancies for next week's Derby. Lufeng Privacy for Vinnie Gerard takes it. Of the night currency, David Robertson second. Trapango Commodity, Darren Thompson third. Home of the Brave, Paul Rhodes fourth. And Hellfire Pistol for David Robertson again was fifth. <laughs>